So that's the background. Published the paper in 85. Come the early 90s, and we, I get the phone call from the lawyers for Judas Priest in Reno, Nevada, where the trial is going to take place. This is a civil suit. The plaintiffs have filed for millions of dollars, by the way, in damages. Um, and so she calls me up and says, uh, you're the only authorities on this. Nobody else has ever published a paper on backward messages. And they were claiming there were a number of backward subliminals in uh, this particular album, the Stained Class album by Judas Priest. And I said, oh, OK, that's, that's fine. I'm more than happy to serve as an expert for you. I'll provide you all the research I can get for you and other kinds of things. And she says, well, we'll yeah, thank you very much. It's very nice. But we, no, we want you to come and testify for us. And I said, well, hmm, there's a problem. And she goes, what, what, what problem? I said, yeah. I said, you probably want my co-author to do this job. Uh, he's actually had experience in court as an expert witness, not in this domain, but uh, in eyewitness testimony. Um, and she said, no, no, you're the first author. We have to have you. And I said, well, I'll tell you what. I only agree to do all this and come to the trial if you bring a, my colleague with me. And she said, yeah, fine, no big deal. And so a year, or almost a year. She calls me you know, once, twice a week. We talk about things, how are things going, and so on. She says, okay, so you, know, you ready? You're thinking about your testimony and this kind of stuff. And, well, as I said, I think you really want my colleague. So here's what happens. The day of... We're flying down there for the first weekend meeting, of actual face-to-face -face meeting. Now, the reason I was reticent, and I'd actually told her, is that I actually look like one of the band members. Um, shaggy, long, blonde hair. Um, and the judge is known for having somewhat uh, less than positive attitude toward um, people who look like me. And she's all, oh, not a problem. Don't worry about it. So. The day we were fly down to meet the uh, team and Judas Priest, Don Reed was leaving from, I think it was Vancouver, and he got there earlier to Reno than I did from Lethbridge. So I'm the last to arrive. And I, it's about five in the afternoon, I go to the cabin, big law firm, and I go in there and there's this big meeting room, these big old doors, you know, and open, very, very dramatic entry. And I come walking in, and there's this woman I've been talking to her for years. She's the head lawyers, all the other lawyers, there's Judas Priest around the table, there's Don sitting there. I go walking in and she looks up at me, she goes, Oh my God. And then says, now Don, when you're on the stand. <laughs> so, I actually didn't testify at the Jewish priest trial. Wow. My name is John. I think about knowing. <laughs>